I just took my hair out of like some twist. So this is what we're working with. Yeah, so my hair was kind of dry. So um, I needed to spray this on here afterwards. So far it feels good. Um, kind of like a co-wash situation. All right, so I am about to wash my hair in my sink. Most of the time I usually um, do it in the shower. So luckily this comes off and it starts to spray. I can make the force a little harder like this. So we won't be doing that. My step is too sensitive. I already messed it up. Basics, my lace is strong. here i don't know where this is from yep i start i right, just trying to detangle a little bit because it's, it's best when your hair is wet it was crazy because i was younger i got told like don't comb your hair while it's wet you're gonna break it off so i think like a lot of people talk bad about the natural hair movie, but i think there's some good aspects of it so like for instance um Sorry if you hear that noise in the background. My dishwasher is going. But I think some of the good things is that I've learned to deal with my hair. Because our, some of our parents and grandparents were taught the wrong thing. Because, you know, we were around people who didn't necessarily know how to do our hair. Or found it strange. And didn't want to learn how to do our hair. But... Yeah, that's what we are. There's just like a lot of stuff we were taught that isn't necessarily right. But I think this movement has helped for us to know, like, figure out what's good and what's bad. So I know a lot of times it'll be like, wait, I've been doing this. Like in the beginning of the hair movement, they said, oh, this is fine. But now, five years later, they're like, um, no, don't do that. So. It's a learning process. Um, if we get better, we've noticed, like, in the past, black women, like, thinking, like, we thought long hair was not obtainable for us as black women. Some of us, not all of us, some of us. So, now we see, like, after we are learning how to work with it, that it is attainable. All right, so I'm going to be using the coconut custard make your lash shampoo I already co-washed my hair get into um doing this hair my hair is still wet so i'm gonna put some on my fingertips i try to do and then go to my scalp my scalp is be killing me this much yeah somebody said don't apply that much but i just when you see it looks like this i'll put this on my scalp so it's rice water collection split in therapy okay 
If I'd known this was what this was for. Four clips, so clipping it in four sections. These are, look at this, oh my God. These are the parts. These are the breaks. Break it up, break it up, break it up. front and front side I got a little alfalfa thing going on or something. Just the fact that I just got it in my eye, but okay. The first pass. This is the first pass. We're gonna take this. Do the chase method. Now do y'all see that? Too. See, this is my thing. I don't want to cut as I go. But look at it. Like, so I really want to show you guys the back of things right now. This is the movement. Come sit back, relax, what a feel wild.
about to go in and trim the back portion of my hair. So what you see me doing now is I'm splitting it on both sides so that I can cut it and then about to comb it out some just so I can see where I need to cut. Usually where you see it's dark at, that's good, but where you see where it's light at and the hair is like straggly, that's where you need to cut it. So yep, I made that cut, looks pretty clean. When I'm feeling it, you see it's cut pretty nice. Now I'm going to go on the other side so now you can kind of see the difference between the left and the right. So I'm doing the same thing on this side as I did on the other. And that's about it. All right, so this is what my hair looked like after I finally straightened it and I actually trimmed off a lot of the ends. Um, so in the previous video, you saw me take off like maybe a half an inch to an inch, but I kept going and cutting more. I wish I would have took a picture, but my hair is not no longer straight and um, it's back to its curly state. But this is a good representation of what it looked like after I was done cutting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.